This is the Chatfellow language tool to help you become fluent in any language. And because you're reading it out loud right now, you're literally speaking the language instantly. You can't speak it without my scripts. Uh, some people can, depending on how much education, how many classes you've taken, uh, courses uh, for this language. And so, but most people who use my scripts will probably have a pretty good understanding of the language already. And so my scripts are just to help you become uh, more smooth, quicker, more natural when speaking. To help you arrive at fluency, the level of being fluent like a native. And so here we go. This is English scripts, day one. I speak English, but it has. I'm in a foreign country. It has been a long time since I've spoken English, and so it is good that I use these scripts also. Uh, it is possible to lose your native language. When I lived in Brazil for several years, uh, when I came home, my own mother, she was crying <laughs> because her son couldn't speak English. <laughs> and so it took a few weeks. It was a struggle. After about a month, I was back to normal speaking my native language, English. So, But it is possible to forget your own language. In fact, it's the number one problem with people who immigrate to another country their children lose the ability to speak their native language and they adopt the, the new language, their new country's language. And that's very sad, very tragic. And the world, even the academia world and governments have been trying to find a way to prevent that loss of their native language. And my scripts are the solution. My scripts are the solution. It wasn't possible to create something like this uh, 20 years ago because the internet is only about 20 years old. I mean, of course it existed 30 years ago, 40 years ago, but only universities and big corporations were using it. And back in those days, you couldn't do much of anything like what we do today. You know, now we have smartphones, we have Microsoft Windows, we have programs, you know, just it was impossible 20 years ago to develop a system like this. And so I don't claim the credit uh, I don't think this is anything uh, that only I could have done. And so I hope, in fact, that more and more companies, more schools, more governments will start using this type of system. You know, I want the whole world to speak fluent, you know, in all the languages that are important. The six dominant languages, Spanish, Chinese, English, and so on. And so here is English, day one. Let's see. How to use scripts instructions. You can go to my website, anaezine.webs.com. Uh, we also have uh, HTTP or www.bit.ly slash chatfellow. And we have a few other websites, anaezine.net. And we also have dozens of blogs and several books at amazon.com and uh, every, everywhere else online. So you can find us pretty easily. Just... Google or Ask Neighbor, you know, look for our our company, Anna Easing or Chat Fellow. So, and you, if you are using our scripts, you are a Chat Fellow. So, thank you for being my Chat Fellow. Basically, that uh, word means uh, conversation partner. <laughs> so, uh, with my scripts, you don't need a conversation partner. You are your most important conversation partner. You need to love yourself, and so. Uh, here we go. Can see any questions? Contact CEO Don J. Beecham. Email big conversation at zoho.com. All right, says start reading out loud. Use your tongue. Should only take one minute. Congratulations. So here we go. Hey, Uncle John, everything's fine. I was in the pantry today and I found an unopened. He was afraid to let him go. He was afraid to trust him. Well, anyway, the boy became a man, and one day he bought his father's business. It was his father's proudest moment. You're hurting my boy. Hold it up my to my ear. This is Bert Owen. Send a patrol car. Hey, Uncle John, everything's fine. I was in the pantry today, and I found an unopened. He was afraid to let him go. He was afraid to trust him. Well, anyway, the boy became a man, and one day he bought his father's business. It was his father's proudest moment. You're hurting my boy. Hold it up to my ear. This is Bert Owen. Send a patrol car. Hey, Uncle John, everything's fine. I was in the pantry today and I found an unopened. He was afraid to let him go. He was afraid to trust him. 
Uh, well, anyway, the boy became a man. And one day he bought his father's business. It was his father's proudest moment. You're hurting my boy. Hold it up to my ear. This is Bert Owens and the patrol car. Stop. You did great. See you tomorrow. <laughs> and so that's the end of the script. And so uh, you'll you'll probably get better and better after just three days. After just three days of reading these scripts, you'll start to get the hang of uh, the importance of uh, pace. Just keep moving. Don't stop. Don't slow down for any reason. If there's a word you can't pronounce, skip it. And so you'll notice that I, I didn't slow down to try and understand what I'm reading. And you can kind of understand that I didn't really care <laughs> about what I was reading. I was just trying to get to the end, get through it. And that's what this is all about, is you want to become natural, automatic. You don't want to slow down. You don't want anything to ruin the way you're talking. And also you notice that the same thing is repeated three times in these scripts. The first 15 sentences uh, and then the, the next 15 sentences are identical. And then the third 15 sentences. And so what you're reading is actually something that has been repeated three times for you. So you just read from top to bottom. And the reason why it's repeated is because your brain recognizes. And the second time you read it, you'll read it better. Because your brain is like, oh, it, it almost has memorized the first 15 sentences. So when you reread it the second time, now you're doing so much better. The third time, usually I say to my students when I'm teaching classes, usually I say to my students that the second time, now you recognize the words. So the first time you're you're learning you're you're learning what am I reading. So the second time you know what I'm reading, and so now you're starting to f try and figure out okay, uh, who's talking, uh, what's going on, what's the context here, and so usually by the second time you read it, you have more of an understanding of context. Not all of it, but a few little five, ten little pieces of it, and then so when you read the third time, your brain actually starts to add emotion to it. For example, you might have noticed my emotion. At the beginning, it was da 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 And the second time, I was like, da 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 you know, because I'm starting to recognize what's going on, you know, the, the speed, the, the context. And then the third time, you'll probably notice, you probably noticed that I added more emotion. Oh, hi, Dad. Hi, how's it going? Oh, son. Oh, I love you. And so <laughs> you start adding emotion. And so that's because your brain... I wasn't paying attention, but my brain was. Your brain is a supercomputer. I wasn't paying attention to what I was reading. But the brain does it automatically. The brain loves games. It loves playing roles, different roles. For example, hi, Dad. Oh, hello. Or wait. Uh, yeah, I'm the son and the father. And so when your brain figures out who the son is, who the father is, automatically, instead of saying, hi, son, how are you doing? Hi, Dad, I'm fine. Even then, I was trying to do it without emotion, but you'll notice the brain automatically throws in emotion because the brain loves role-playing. We like wearing masks on Halloween and going door-to-door -door knocking and getting candy and pretending that we're somebody who we're not. You know, we put on the mask, we're the werewolf or the vampire, and so the brain loves games, and so automatically you'll start to add emotion, and... The whole point to that, the reason that's so important and vital is because before you finish reading these scripts, I want, and you want, you want to be able to speak, be speaking as perfectly as possible. Because one of the main principles of these scripts, of this philosophy, this program, one of the main principles, one of the main scientific aspects behind these scripts is that perfect practice makes perfect. If you're practicing something wrong, you're going to always be doing it wrong. If you practice perfect, or each time you get better and better and better, you're going to become fluent. You're going to be a good speaker. And so, the first 15 sentences, you usually sound terrible. <laughs> like, I, I just woke up, so I probably sound like I just woke up. And so, the first 15 sentences, terrible. The second... 15 sentences, a little better. The third, 15, you're, you're really good. And I wouldn't say perfect, but you're much better than you normally would be, <laughs> especially if you're not regularly using this language. You don't have regular uh, conversation partners. 
And so that's the whole point of, of these scripts is you don't need a conversation partner. And you can do this daily. Maybe you have 10 different languages you want to practice each day. You can't find 10 different partners. <laughs> Maybe if you live in New York where there's lots of people from different countries. But most people, the average person, we're lucky if we can find one conversation partner who, who wants to meet with us every day. You know, usually even my own best friends don't want to meet with me every day. <laughs> we have falling out. You know, we have fights, arguments. And, and so that, it's the same way for everyone, right? And so, all right, so that's it. That's English scripts day one. And uh, tomorrow I'll do day two, and you'll be able to see if I'm getting better, if my English is improving. Thank you.